This project is sponsored by The Great Courses Plus. Water has incredibly useful electrical properties. Salt water, for example, is conductive, but rainwater, or better yet, pure water, is the best insulator known to man. Hey, I'm Jay, you're watching Plasma Channel. Now, that dichotomy can be really useful, and you can hack it to create your own miniature lightning. With just a few cups of water, some salt, and some plastic aquarium tubing, and about 30 or 40 minutes of your time, you can have hundreds of thousands of volts right at your disposal. So grab yourself a cup, because you're about to see water's true potential. Coming up. You're looking at a water-based Marx generator that's capable of producing 100,000 volts. If you haven't heard of them, Marx generators are flat up brilliant. They're a type of impulse generator that's capable of multi-million volt discharges, primarily for the purposes of simulating lightning strikes on airplanes and cars and whatnot. But here's the deal. They're fully scalable to any size you want, and the largest spark on record in the history of the entire world was 150 meters long. And that was from a Marx. They only consist of three components, capacitors which store energy, resistors which direct power flow, and spark gaps. They're pretty simple, but guess what? Two of those three components can be replaced entirely with water. If that sounds a little bit crazy, well, it kind of is, but not entirely. You see, this is where that dichotomy of water comes into play. If placed inside a plastic tube, fresh water will act like a high value resistor. Goodbye resistors. And salt water is really conductive, so separating two bodies of salt water with a plastic insulator replaces high voltage capacitors. That leaves only the spark gap left, which is just a gap. Not that hard to make. Believe it or not, these three things are all that it takes to turn a small high voltage supply into vicious little bolts of lightning. I think the best way to show you how to build this is going to be through a montage. Right, Noodles? Right. Built this way, these capacitors are rated at 1 nanofarad. When built to 6 inches, these are rated at 1.6 million ohms. This alone isn't going to create the massive voltages that we're looking for. The capacitors still need an ace up their sleeve. Here's that ace. Finally, the ultra high voltage out is the last inner cup and the ground is the first outer cup. As a side note, I'll leave links to all the supplies in the description down below. The last thing to do is to hook up the power and these devices require high voltage DC to start out. So I'm using a mini high voltage flyback supply that I built. It outputs about 15,000 volts at 30 watts. Let me know if you want a video on how to make it. Now connect up the positive high voltage to the first inner cup and shove the negative lead into the water of the outer cup. Before turning this on, remember to be safe and use the one hand rule at all times. It saves lives. Starting out, we'll set the gap to just over five centimeters and hit the power. The gap's now opened up to about seven centimeters. And maxed out, this is eight and a half. Kind of 
kind of crazy, right? Just a few glasses of water and some hardware and some plastic tubing, and you've got a 100,000 volt power supply. And keep in mind, two of the three main components are primarily made of water. Now what they do is cool enough, but how these devices work is absolutely genius. Mark's generators rely on the principles of parallel charging, but series discharging. Think of it like this. You have three rechargeable AA batteries all charging up at the same time. When fully charged, a switch closes, causing them to electrically connect up end to end in series. So with three AA's, you now have 4.5 volts. In a Mark's generator, the spark gaps act as the switches to go from parallel charging to series discharging. The total voltage out is simply the voltage your capacitors are charged to multiplied by the number of capacitors. In this case, just under 100,000 volts. Beautiful physics used to magnify voltage. And before I show you what you can do with that voltage, a quick note. This is the fun part about physics, right? Combining all these abstract concepts into a working model. And sometimes concepts in physics aren't exactly the easiest thing to understand. So it's good to have tools that help you to learn at your own pace. Great Courses Plus, it's one of those tools and actually helped me come up with this video idea. It's an on-demand video learning platform which contains high-quality lectures and courses from credible sources like professors from Ivy League universities and experts from places like National Geographic and the Smithsonian. Subscribers get access to a huge library of over 10 or 11,000 video lectures about pretty much anything that interests you. Science, math, history, literature, photography, or even how to cook. I'll pass on that one. I'm in the middle of watching The Science of Extreme Weather, which has an entire episode dedicated to lightning formation with super high frame rate cameras, which I love. So if you love learning as much as I do, you should check out the free trial they're offering all my viewers. Go to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash plasma channel or click the link in the description down below because you can start that trial today. You should go check them out. They have some pretty amazing stuff. Now one thing you can use this for is to study fractal branching. Mark's generators create pulses really similar to lightning which have nearly identical appearance. Here's an awesome pulse which tried alternative paths to ground, kind of like lightning does. The fractals you see here are the result of electricity trying to penetrate pure water which isn't conductive, so it branches out in an attempt to get better penetration. And if you place glass in the way, it branches out even further, giving you this beauty. So how's that water treating you? Hopefully this video got you thinking and you enjoyed what you saw. Honestly, I would love to know your thoughts, so drop a comment down below because I read most of the comments. And a massive thank you to The Great Courses Plus and all of my Patreons for supporting my work. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. I post to other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.